Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I've had this Keta Store It Out Max small garden shed for just over a year now. So I thought it was about time to give it a review after having it a year and it going through a winter here in the UK and just give you my honest thoughts about this shed. Okay, so taking a look at the outside to start with, I'm gonna look at the roof. We've got um, a bit of dust and green stuff that's settled on here. It's actually raining a little bit now as I speak. Um, these grooves have got some rain in them. When you lift the lid, that rain comes off. Um, any discoloration? I don't think so. It looks pretty much like the day I bought it. I have a video on how I put this shed together. If you'd like to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to that video. So the roof is all good no problems there so coming down a bit the clasp here I've not been using a lock at the moment but you can put a lock through here the clasp uh, wear and tear it's still nice and new and stiff nothing wrong with that that is all good damage wise there's been no damage or warping or bending to this shed as you can see I put it onto this wooden base that I made my slabs slope away from the house so this part's not level so I've put some leveling feet on this base if you'd like to see how I made the base for this shed I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below also so the clasp down here that's all good nothing wrong with that and then coming over to the side I added a shelf in here so these screws have been screwed through the sides and there's no water getting in there the screws are absolutely fine and all is well here is the shed fully open can see I'm just storing odds and ends in here I've got some paint some tools table saw bits and bobs and I installed a shelf in here I have a video on how I installed the shelf and made the shelf if you're interested in that video I'll leave a link in the description for that video too and I've just got some general stuff on the top here so looking at the lid it has these sort of gas assist hinges um, that help the lid go up and they are totally fine no rust or anything like that there's no mold inside here uh, there's the odd spider web right here but uh, no water has gotten in you can just see how dry it is it's been raining through the night and you can just see it's bone dry in here I also anchored this to the base you can see here and you can see that in the video about how I made this wooden base if you're interested so you can uh, shut these doors up like so and then you can flick this foot latch just to lock them in place so they don't blow around here's the other side the other hinge and that is totally fine too no damage or anything so the shed has stayed square true it hasn't buckled or warped it hasn't split there's no damage uh, nothing to note you can see the lid there everything lines up nicely I'll just close this up to close the lid I can just pull this across and just pull the lid down And that is it everything's nicely in line watertight and looking good a closer look at the door hinges on the outside let's come down to the bottom one you can see there's no that's just a bit of like flashing of plastic but there's no damage or anything it really does help to set these on a nice level base and it helps them to last as long as they possibly can because they're not under any pressure 
from like bending or warping if they're sort of off balance and not level. Keeping them level like this, it really helps them to last longer. So that's about it for this video. Would I recommend this shed um, to somebody who's got very limited space and a small garden on a budget? Yes, I would. Um, it's great for storing garden tools and bits and bobs in, but if you're looking for something that holds a lot of storage, it's probably not the best for you. It's convenient, it looks nice, and as you've seen in the video, it's reliable. It's, uh, it's, it's good at keeping the water out. So I would recommend this product. So if you found this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.